Hello YouTube, Preacher Pipeweed here with my first YouTube video and I want to talk about pipe tobacco storage. Uh, mason jars is the key to effectively storing tobacco. Let me start with what did not work well. When I first got into tobacco storage, I used these ball jars. Here is a wide mouth, even wider bottomed uh, jar, holds eight ounces, very convenient to get into, love this jar. And then here is its, its uh, big brother, twice the size. Uh, and I stored everything in these. The problem that I found with these is they just do not stack well. You get these in Walmart, wherever else, online. This is a pretty standard jar. It's pretty common. But I broke a couple different jars because open a cupboard, some of these things shifted, came crashing down. Knew I had to do something different. So discontinued this system entirely, use those when we make jams, give those away, whatever else. And I went to jars which are stackable. So I make sure before I buy the jar that I can stack it. This particular jar, uh, the smaller ones can stack on top of these bigger ones, no problem. Uh, and that's the jars that I use exclusively. I make sure that they are going to be stackable for my needs. First, the labels. Uh, I did not make these. I got these from another uh, pipe tobacco enthusiast. Uh, and I'll put the link below. If you like the fonts, there's a link to download those or you can use your own. What you need to do is order Avery 2.5 inch round labels. It comes in white or in the case that you see here, Kraft Brown. I just like the look of that a little bit better. Now, as far as the jars themselves... There are a lot of different brands. I've got uh, ball jars here. This is a Care, K-E-R-R -R brand. There's several different brands. The good news for us is that all of the lids, which is this inner part, and then all of the rings, this outer part, are interchangeable. doesn't matter what company made them. Now, there are two different kinds. There are narrow mouth jars, or usually referred to as regular mouth jars that are more narrow as you can see that here uh, those do not work well I mean they store well it's just hard to get your fingers into these to get your tobacco out so I recommend using only wide mouth so you buy a wide mouth lid in the case here this is a ball lid and a ball ring I can take this lid I can take this ring and I can use that on the care jar, no problem. One of the few industries that actually work together, which is very nice. So this is an 8-ounce jar, sometimes called a half-pint jar. Uh, if you like labels on the side, I also recommend the Care, K-E-R-R -R brand, as um, they don't have a lot of glass lettering. Uh, it's mostly just pure smooth glass unlike some of these ball jars, or actually all of the ball jars, that have some kind of imprinted glass design that makes putting on labels a problematic. But this 8-ounce half-pint jar holds 2 to 3 ounces of tobacco very easily. So when I order in a tobacco, often it's 2 ounces, maybe 3 ounces, uh, just to try it out. Uh, this is the jar system that I use, and I probably have a couple dozen of these of various tobaccos in my tobacco cellar. Now, the next step up, and there are a lot of other sizes. I'm only giving you the ones that are best for pipe tobacco. Next size up is the full pint jar, or 16 ounces. This holds easily five uh, ounces or, or, or four or five ounces easily. I ordered four ounces of Seattle Pipe Club's Mississippi River, fantastic tobacco. Smoked several bowls of this, but as you can see, I had plenty of room left over. Next big jump is the standard quart jar. Uh, this holds exactly one half pound of tobacco, standard leaf cut. Here's some Highland cigars from Scottsdale, Arizona. Caribbean, excellent little aromatic blend. From here, you jump up to the half gallon jar, which is two quarts. This particular one, also Highland Cigars, Black Gold, um, my personal favorite. This holds one full pound of tobacco. This jar was empty. Uh, you can see it uh, nearly goes to the top. I have two of these in Black Gold. 
I have two in black gold plus, which is also a great aromatic, and I have two of these in lane 1Q that I keep in storage. For my daily use, I turn to these acrylic jars that I got from Wally World, easy to get into. They hold one pound or more. I think I got a pound and a third, maybe even close to a pound and a half, but that took some compression. I had to push the tobacco down to make that happen. But loosely, it holds one pound very easily. When this goes empty, I dump this into here, restock this, and do my rotation. A key for all of this is buy one of these. It will cost you two and a half dollars, maybe three bucks, and this saves you a whole lot of headache and mess, and you don't end up wasting your tobacco. Just throw that over your jar, dump your tobacco in, and you are good to go. So that is my pipe storage or tobacco storage system. If you do something else, I'd love to hear about it. Always willing to learn. Uh, you should know that the enemies of pipe tobacco are air. That's the biggest enemy. And then light as well. All of these lids come with rubber seals. Uh, the rings tighten it down nice. It really takes care of your air problem. I have no problem getting into this jar getting some tobacco out, putting the lid back on, putting it back in the cellar. Your pipe tobacco will last years that way. I keep everything inside in a temperature-controlled environment in the main house, air-conditioned, heated, uh, and I keep it in a cupboard away from the light just for added protection. But if you do something different, let me know. Always willing to learn. And at the end of the day, all that's left is to think and go smoke some tobacco.